Hey, what's up everyone? It is your girl Jail Beauty 87 here, aka Grace, and today we're gonna get into the new Nomad Royal Europe palette. So shout out to my girl Dion Loves Makeup here on YouTube. She got this palette in PR, and if you all didn't know, Dion can't use pressed pigments on the eyes, so she went ahead and um gifted it to me after she did her two looks with the multi-chrome so let me show you what the inside of the palette looks like i must say i'm i'm feeling the weird design on the front like i thought i wasn't gonna like it as much but that looks pretty cool in person this is what she looks like on the inside it has the five multi at the bottom this is the first time they've ever done that so i was excited about those and then you have these nice tin matte shades at the top so y'all know me i want to do like a blue purple pink moment and then give y'all a nice green and brown moment but i'm only have time to do one eye look today because it is like 2 22 in the morning what angel number is that because i have no idea random side i'm um, zoom you on real quick and cute like if you're curious what's on my eyes right now i actually have the blend uh, this palette match which you'll see on instagram tomorrow this is the um blend bunny um Lure palette alongside the moonfall palette from it's moonfall, right? yeah the moonfall palette from um shroud cosmetics so i combine both those palettes to get this look the pink on the lid is that palette and then the purple on the outer v is that palette and i think the pink on the lower that no the pink the um blue in the crease and the um mint shade over the um brown is all from blend bunny so i basically use the mattes from blend bunny one matte from um shroud and the shimmers are from shroud so that's what we're working with on the eyes if anyone's curious so pay no attention to the lower last time we'll be getting to the eyes up here because you know it's supposed to be focusing on this palette and you can use code what everybody says together now we can use code dion we use code dion in this household so when you buy from nomad you use code what you use code dion thank you so much okay now <laughs> so the palettes I have to compare this, I don't have many, like I said. It's 2.22 in the morning, girl. I don't, I grabbed this off my doorstep because Dion sent it to me, but I had to go to work early, so I would have got it otherwise on time and been able to come straight over here, but I had to go home, find it on my doorstep, and then come back and grab it. So I did what I could, okay? Y'all will get a real, y'all know, or uh, sorry, a shorts on comparisons, but this is the primal palette that I had to compare to a desk that's already here. So here's what both of them look like side by side. So as you can see, I feel like this one is a little more jewel tone, and obviously the multi chrome thing here, y'all know you have to buy the troll quad separately with multi chrome in it from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. So let's look both of them look like side by side. As you can see, they had the neutrals and like the jewel tones it too, so I wanted to make sure I showed them. But Maggie's just has a little bit more detail to it. Then I bought some palette mashup palettes that I plan on using this palette with, of course, and that would be the Paradise Islands palette. Y'all know I told y'all this one was a little too light for me, but I feel like these are good light transition shades to airbrush over with these more jewel tone shades. So you'll definitely see this on Instagram this week. I'm thinking the rest of Instagram this week, I'll just go ahead and combine this palette and the Costa Rica palette with it to get some nice looks with it. But tomorrow I'm just gonna, you know, use it on its own. Of course, the battery always wants to blink. It always wants to blink when I start doing this. I really want to do two looks, but I just don't have time for it, y'all. So you're gonna get one and then you get one on instagram tomorrow and i'll post both those together hopefully so you can see what they look like together or not i don't know we'll see then like i said we have the costa rica palette alongside this palette i feel like this one would be a fun one to go with this one too because some of the brighter ones can go with some deeper tones here i feel like the colors in here are somewhat similar to the ones in here but like um these are just more jewel tone versions or deeper versions in here if that made any sense so i'm here for it to survive i'm definitely gonna put them together and this was I think the first multi-chrome they put in the palette, this one right here, that I can recall. So I think it'd be fun to layer this one with some of the ones in the other palette. Or just pop this one in the inner corner with the ones that are, they have in this new palette and see how it goes. So I'm going to go off camera and get my life in order, especially since the battery is blinking. And then I'll be right back with the eye done. Okay, girl? Okay. Random side note, this palette does kind of give me the vibes of the Pat McGrath um, Celestial Divinity palette, which um, I would love to pair it with as well. And I want to put it alongside that. So just FYI, you'll see that in the YouTube shorts of me comparing it to that as well. Okay, now I'm going for it. So this is a classic jewel tone eye for me, as you can see. I did two or three colors in the crease. I did take the pink in this palette and just run it over the little last night again, this pink right here, just so we can see what the color looks like. Cause I mixed it with the red in the crease, but I feel like you can't really tell that it's there. I don't know if it's because the red oxidized and the pink oxidized and it doesn't look like there's much of anything going on there. So I made sure to run it on the lower lash line. I'll do it again here on camera just so you can see the coloring. These are the five multi-crumbs. I feel like you won't be able to see that huge of a 
shift in them, unfortunately, by the lighting I have going on, but you know, I'm gonna still switch my hand like this is really doing something to help him. You're welcome. No, <laughs> um, but so what I did was, I just stuck to this side of the palette, of course, because we know me, so this shade is on my outer V, these two shades on my lid, this one's in my inner corner, these two are in the crease, and then this one is in the crease as well. So I took these three shades here for the crease, these two for the lid, this one for my inner corner, and this is my outer V shade. It was lighter than I expected it to be, but it turned out nice. Oh, and I put this over the brow bone randomly. I just randomly decided I wanted to use the lighter color too, just to have a little extra pop, as you can see. And it worked out nice with the extra little pop, if you will. Let's get into it. And pretty much three in the morning, it's like 2.56, so we're just gonna round, honey. I, I'll be round enough. So we're just round to, you know, yeah. I normally do, but I have forgot to change the battery too after I did the um, intro with you all. So I was like, let me go get my life on. And I still gotta go home and edit this. So I ain't going to bed. It's like four in the morning, and I gotta get up at eight, go to the agent game over, and then I gotta crap. I forgot to print out the form. So I gotta go to the library and print out this form for um, my P.O. box. I finally got around to doing it. Oh, and I used this neutral shade to start off with. I probably should have said that. So I use this to start off with in the crease. So let's start with that. And then we'll do all the other colors that I just named. But since it wasn't an exciting color, of course I forgot about it. So, that's what's going on up here. To kind of help blend everything in easier. And look more natural my skin tone. I feel like I like this eye look better on tomorrow. Because I like to take my thumbnails in natural sunlight. So I'm going to try to do that. I don't know how well this actually going to turn out. But, you know, I'm going to try or whatever to recreate this look. So that way the thumbnail will look better. But worst comes to worst, since I use a different um, app now, I can go ahead and, you know, just use that app instead and cut out um, myself and you won't get a super close-up look. But I don't think it looks, like, super bad. I feel like it looks pretty good, all things considered. And y'all know I am sleep deprived, like always, so I think I did a good job. So the, the blue shade is called Hall of Mirrors, and the other shade I used was called... Shrumburn Palace. I did. We're gonna go with that. Hopefully, it was right. So I'm just patting this on out, and y'all know I like to wing out my look. So I'll pat it on, and then wing it out. And I was mistaken earlier. So Dion, um, I actually didn't use the palette. There's only like a few shades she could use in the palette as the entire palette because it's a lot of pressed pigment. So that's why she's and they send it over to my way. So if you do purchase this palette, please make sure you use code Dion because that's the only reason y'all got this review the day this palette launched because, you know, of code Dion. So, I'm really liking this shade. I like how it oxidized down to be a little darker than I expected because it's lighter in the pan, but I'm like, it's, it's working. But I said, I just talked up because she just sent me a message on Instagram while I was, like, while I was doing this, but yeah. You know, this is what we're working with. I'm really liking that shade. Like, I think it's a gorgeous color. Let's take the brush we use the transition shade with and uh, brush it over and underneath. Now I'm going to go into the pink shade now and get this out the way because I know me and I'll forget and then we're going to do it in the video and then I'll be looking great. Um, okay, so let's dust it underneath here real quick. And then uh, I'll dust it right here. And I kind of just drag it even with the um, outer V shade. I don't know why, but I always have a tendency to do that. So, you know, I'm just going with the flow, girl. I would say it's 3 in the morning, girl. We're going with the flow. And I still got to drive home and edit this video. So, keep being your prayers, child. It's going be a long night for yours, truly. Okay. So, that's what we're working with so far. I think it looks pretty good. Um, now, we're going to take the purple in the crease. So, next, the purple shade is called Buckingham Palace. I remember watching Karen's video and talking about how she was obsessed with the royals and like Di uh, Princess Diana and all that stuff. Which I thought was interesting, but I didn't realize that Sri Lanka was a country that, uh, and I know this might sound stupid to some people, but I didn't realize Sri Lanka was a country that used to be part of like the British Empire, if you will. I wasn't like a history buff when I came to school. I liked the English and, um, I think that was it, honestly. 
English was my favorite subject, but I love to write like my dad, so I was more obsessed with English than I was with history, so so I don't necessarily remember everything that goes along with history, but you know, I thought it was interesting how she was talking about she was obsessed with the royals and like, you know, she went on people's thoughts on Harry and Meghan and um, the royal family. And I was like, hmm, because I didn't really have too many thoughts about it. I didn't watch. I mean, I think I watched the special with them and Oprah, if I remember correctly, and they were talking about how they were concerned. This is the Red Shade Pena Palace, how they were concerned about, you know, what color the child was going to be, if he was going to be like, like, my complexion, or if he was going to be lighter, or, or if he was going to be able to pass white, or whatever, and I was just like, y'all. Like, child, please. There's the red, and you see what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it just barely peeks through, and it just blends in with the purple pretty well because of, like, the fact that it oxidizes. I wasn't necessarily crazy about that, but, you know, I feel like they're pretty close in tone. Now I'm going to take the shade, the ballroom, the pink that we put on the bottom and put on the top of it. I tried to put that in to make it a little bit lighter. I don't feel like it worked that well, though. I don't think it necessarily muddied the color, but I don't feel like it, you know, gave the brightness I was hoping for but because it's a darker pink, though. That might be why I didn't. I do think it added a little bit of intensity toward the front of the eye, though, which, you know, worked out in my favor because I definitely feel like with the shimmer, it gives it a nice balance and still shows off the color because I added that pink to it in the front, but maybe it's just me. Now let's take this um, blue on the brow bone. Sorry, y'all, my ear was issue. So it's called the Palace of Versalis. I hope I said that right. And I just literally took it on um, this little brush right here and just tapped it over the brow until like right here so directly underneath the brow bone pretty much is where I just let this color sit I just want to have a cute little airbrush moment and y'all know when there's a whole bunch of blues in a palette I be trying to use all of them like you know like the Pokemon I gotta catch them all I gotta use all the blues all of them and since it's only two it wasn't hard so I dust them on both sides I'm gonna dust a little bit more on this side just cause I'm already holding the brushes here we're here everybody's here y'all know the drill so I'm just brushing it over here nicely. And I'll take my same clean brush and just dust around the edges of that to make it look nice and airbrushed. And so far this is what we're working with. So I like the fact that it has this extra little oomph to the size over the blue. I don't know why, but this is a whole vibe for me tonight. It's a whole vibe. I hope it's a whole vibe for you because you know it's here, we're here, it's all we're all here. So it, you know, it, it might as well be a vibe. You're here and it's here. And let's get a little glue it together, girl, and cut our crease with a little bit of glue. So, there we go. Now, I did have some blue shimmer on my brush from before because this is an old brush I accidentally picked up. But I'm like, it's here, we're here, and I already used it once. So, might as well just use it on the other side, too. So, I'm taking the shade was St. Edward's Crown. And that was the darker shade I put towards the back of the eye to start off with. I felt like this one didn't have much of a like dual chrome shifting situation going on with it. Maybe it was just me, but I just felt like I didn't shift as much as I thought it was going to. Or maybe it's just shifting like a deeper, um, maybe it's blue purple than it is. Y'all, so I went to go see John Wick and I was so pissed about the way it ended. Oh my God, I was so pissed. People in the movie theaters was yelling about it too because they was upset. Because they had like a post credit scene or whatever they do. Now I'm going to take the shade Blue Defense. Blue Defense. And I'm going to put that one toward the front. I like the transition that it's giving because you can definitely see the blue to purple shift in it. And it just looks like it's transitioning into a deeper purple. So that's why I wanted to do it this way in particular. Look at all that sparkle, child. Maybe it is it's just this eyeshadow. I don't know. But I feel like when I swatch it, it doesn't give as much sparkle. That's why I'm thinking it's the extra that was on this brush. I don't know. Either way, she looks sexy, and I'm here for it. But yeah, so I'm definitely here for this eye. It's a whole little vibe, but y'all know me. I got to go back over the edge on this side and just, you know, just a little bit. You, she just got to just a little, just a little bit. She's not going to get crazy with it, but just, just a little bit. See, just, just a little bit there. And see, it didn't hurt anybody. It didn't hurt you. It didn't hurt me. Everyone's fine. You know, everyone's fine. Now we're going to go in Buckingham Palace again because I just want to touch up this shade because I feel like when they oxidize I have to re-pigmentize and re revive them if you will for like a better term I think I'm just gonna do the pink one this around here though 
just because I want a little bit more. So I'll pink one more right here. And then we're going with our inner corner shade for a moment. And then purple. Purple. Clean brush again. Well, not clean, but y'all know. When we started off with the neutral tone. That's all around here. Now let's go into this inner corner shade called Royal Treasures. And pop that in the inner corner here. And I will do some mascara and eyeliner off camera for my look at me and think of sexy picture. But this is it, girl. I have hooked it up. And back you on up and talk about my thoughts. So the mats are the traditional mats that they use. They're of... Uh, Y'all know they have kick up in the pan and that kind of powdery, but I will say I'm really obsessed with the um, multi crumbs. I'm happy they put them in here. I'm hoping to see multi more multi crumbs in the future because they're definitely giving a whole vibe. I loved layering this St. Edward's crown over blue difference. And I like the shade Royal Treasure. So I'm interested to see how these other ones are going to work. Like the, what is it, Royal Orb and the Imperial Crown. I might use those tomorrow with some other shades. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do tomorrow. I most likely just remake the look I already have on my eyes. Because it's stunning and sexy. I'm here for it. I love it. And other people need to see it. Not just y'all on camera. How about that? But I like the palette overall. So if you're interested in getting a jewel tone palette with some multi chromes at a reasonable price. I definitely think you should check out this palette. So those are pretty much my thoughts on it. And shout out again to my girl Deanna Love's makeup for sending it to me. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all are dimes. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed, girl. Bye.